Alright everyone, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today's video we're going to be looking at number 80, Troy Aikman. Number 80 on the top 100 NFL's greatest players of all time. There ain't no time to lose. I'm trying to get this series all out by the end of December for you guys. All shot and edited and uploaded. So let's get into it. Troy Aikman. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... I was born in Dallas, Texas. I moved to Austin when I was seven years old. So naturally growing up, I was a huge Dallas Cowboys fan. We're talking early 90s, the heyday. Is that him? That Dallas dynasty where they won three Super Bowls in four years. Certainly that takes a pretty strong willed person. You know, you always saw that in Troy when you watched him play. Now all of a sudden here I am, I, I am an NFL quarterback. And I'm aspiring to what I saw as a kid. Troy Aikman, as told by Drew Brees. Presented by Drew Brees. Number 80, Troy Aikman. I think I did see this guy actually at the start of this series. He was he was one of the narrators, I think. Dallas Cowboys quarterback. Troy had, first of all, that fiery competitive nature. Hey guys, we're gonna get in and out of the huddle now. Get in and out of the huddle. That will to win, that will to work hard and do whatever it takes to succeed. That's a damn embarrassment. We can't block anybody at the f***ing out of the ball early. Junior League. <laughs> be able to make sure that he's Don't beep it out. And he's playing within the offense and playing within himself, but giving everybody the opportunities, knowing when you know, he's called upon to make the play and he's going to make that big throw. It couldn't have been thrown any better. There's going to be those times where, hey, maybe they're frustrated or maybe and you just have to manage a lot of those personalities from time to time. It's your leadership ability that makes sure you're getting the best out of those guys. I had an ability to throw the pass pretty much where I wanted. I, I was always very accurate. It's a supersonic laser blast from a lot of training involved in that. I took a great deal of pride in my ability to, to stay in the pocket and get hit and deliver the football. Wasn't afraid of contact. That's what you want. Had I have played in an offense that threw the ball like Dan Marino played in, or Steve Young played in an offense like that, or Brett Favre, and I'm not taking away anything that those guys have done, they're all great players. There are those that don't put me in that same category because that's not the system in which I played in. I don't think, think people ever truly got to see the ability that I had as a passer. Troy Aikman was at his best in big games. He was 11 and 4 in the postseason. His career completion percentage in Super Bowls is the best in NFL. What is it? Three out of four. Both Joe Montana oh, no. and Tom Brady. Completion percentage. Passing completion. The fact that my first year in the NFL, I was able to have North Turner as my offensive coordinator, who had been the offensive coordinator for two of those three Super Bowls. You know, we ended up watching quite a bit of film on Troy, that just gave me even more respect about the plays that he made throughout his career. To think that when I was a kid watching Troy Aikman play and win Super Bowls that I would, 20 years later, be a Super Bowl champion myself and hold up that Vince Lombardi trophy you know, like he had so many times, that's... Um, it's a pretty surreal moment, but one that uh, you know, I feel like maybe from watching a guy like him growing up, it inspired me, it gave me that motivation to accomplish some of the things that I've been able to accomplish at this level. Troy Aikman, I know who you are now. I put a face to a name. I saw you early on. Now I know the Dallas Cowboys three-time Super Bowl champion quarterback. If you have liked this video, please hit like. If you want to subscribe, please do. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.